Yeah, John and I are going to be talking about uh, a journey that uh, John's been on. Uh, we've both sort of like been looking at our family trees. And the most I use is uh, 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 genie.com, which is uh, an online service. Uh, and uh, I've got about three or four pages worth of relatives, so it's not for naught. But John, you've been out there grabbing them by the neck uh, where <laughs> you can find them. And if you can't find them, you invent I'm them. I'm, and my whole goal is to, well, first of all, um, I, I grew up with, uh, I, I don't know, my, my mother's family had nine children. There were something like 22 grandchildren. Gee. And while those 22 grandchildren were sped over a very long period of time, so some were much, much older, some were much, much younger. Nevertheless, um, I had a whole bunch of cousins that I kind of grew up with. We didn't see each other. They didn't live in the neighborhood, but we grew up and we saw each other two, three times a year when sisters would get together. I miss that. And I recognize mm. the value of that to somebody's life. And I, as I look at my children and my grandchildren, I'm saying these people really need that. They have, they have even more cousins than I do because of course the family has grown and spread out. But they don't know. They don't all know each other, well, I think and they part really of that, are missing something. John, I think part of that is uh, uh, that uh, people uh, back fifty years ago all lived in the same neighborhood forever. Uh, True. And now, and then maybe they would go. We, both of us are from the New York area. Maybe if you lived in the city and moved to Long Island, uh, okay, or to Westchester. That was uh, a long way. Yeah. Right. But you still got to see people from time to time. Sure. But now we move across country. And in our case, uh, my uh, family on my mother's side, because there were four sisters and all four sisters moved to California at one wow. point or another. Uh, and my sister and I both live in California. So all of our kids and grandkids see each other once or twice a year. That's great. And have for the last dozen or more years. That's but great. on my wife's side of the family and my father's side of the family, everybody yeah. is still basically in the Midwest or back east. Maybe some of right. them have traveled south. So, right. so the kids are aware that they have some relatives there, but for the most part, they don't even know their names. Yeah. Well, look, it's great to be on Genie, great to be on Ancestry.com right. or any of these other wonderful sites. Um, but that knowledge is. Not, not even half as important as meeting somebody, getting to know them as a human being, as a person, and maybe actually a friend. So, John, uh, tell us about some more relatives you, you tracked down. Oh, <laughs> so the <laughs> recent, you're right, the recent trip was to Denver. And, and here's the situation. My granddaughter is living in Denver, graduated from University of Denver, living in Denver, stayed there. My niece moved to Denver five or six years ago, now with a new baby. And I got a call last, about a year ago, from my cousin in North Carolina. Mm. And he said, my granddaughter is going to the Colorado School of Mines, about an hour north of Denver. And boy, I'd like to get them together. Great inspiration. I mean, they we tried to get them together. They, They're all they, in the they haven't gotten together be before this and they've been living near each other for years? Yeah, they were all within an hour of each other. Wow. They they kind of know who each other are. They might have met at a, at a reunion or something. It's not like they're strangers necessarily, but they just never, you know, everybody's busy. They never had a chance to get together. So I took it upon myself to get them together. And I planned a trip. I said, look, I'm coming to Denver and we're all going to get together and pick a date. And we got a date. And it was about last week. And it was wonderful. It's just the three girls, if you will, young women, um, husbands, boyfriends, whatever. And um, my daughter, my granddaughter's mother came with me and my cousin's granddaughter, her father came. So was, I think there was eight of us. Uh, there might have been 10 at one time. A couple of people said they'd join us. But the important thing was that these three young ladies who kind of knew each other, knew certainly knew of each other, got together, sat around. We just showed old photos and 
had family stories, but mostly they got to talk to each other. So they're, and they're, 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 they have a lot in common. They're cousins. Yeah. So I can then refer to you then as a cousin herder. Yeah. <laughs> you could do that. You could do that. So I'm very pleased. Everybody seemed to have a good time. Um, I'm very pleased. I got to see my grand nephew for the first time. Mm. My my niece's uh, little boy. Uh, but I also got to see my granddaughter, uh, who never came back from Denver from wow. from college. I haven't seen her. I saw her at my wife's birthday party. But you know they're out of town and they're they're going to probably stay in Denver. So that was great to visit her in her environments, environs. And uh, I got to see my cousin's granddaughter. I call her a grandniece, but I don't know technically what the relationship is. But I got to see her again. We had met at a reunion. Nice. And it was just, it was a real nice, it was kind of a reunion, but it was more than that because the older generations, <clears throat> my cousin was going to come and he couldn't, but my daughter and her cousin, his, my cousin's son, and I sat off to the side while, I'll call them the kids, <laughs> Well, the kids got to just talk and chat and just, you know, what are you doing? Where are you working? Uh, what a cute baby, you know, all that kind of stuff. So it really, the human interaction, I think, and the it, it, the bonding that comes from that is much more important than knowing that you have a cousin in Sheboygan or a, an aunt in, you know, South Carolina. Um, and I, and that's what we did. That's what we accomplished. So I, I was very pleased with that. And I think they they were, too. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, it's really true that uh, while I still know a lot of these people, uh, my my uh, kids and grandkids, uh, my kids have probably met more of these relatives from the East Coast because we yeah. used to live there and they remember some of them. Uh, but some of them they've never met, you know, the, the the cousins that level were born some of them and cousins once removed were born yeah. you know just in the last ten years and there was no particular we don't have that large family reunion so as you get further and further away you get more and more distance from them and people right. are just it's fun because they probably have great stories about how yeah. their parents and grandparents who then we all know, or the kids all yeah. know, get together. Yeah. So I really admire your quest. Uh, I'm hoping, you know, that you find some relatives in, uh, uh, you know, Acapulco, and maybe we'll we'll figure <laughs> out a business trip to go there. I'll go with you. I know that, that Penny doesn't like to travel to these things as much as you do. Maybe I'll be, uh, you know, your plus one. But find oh, someplace exotic. We have Tahiti. That's a great idea. Okay. At, at any rate, listen, they say that... Um... Genealogy is the, the uh, certainly in the U.S. the most popular hobby for people over forty or so, and I can believe it because it's not just mm. finding the people and maybe finding the stories and the background. It's really meeting the people. So that's my recommendation to everybody: is when you go on Genie or Ancestry.com or any of these websites, make a point of contacting. Make a point of uh, keeping in touch. In fact, my my trip at last October, I think I told you, I went out of the way to meet a cousin that I didn't even know I had. Wow, yeah, right. On my grandfather's side, his he had a young he had a couple of brothers and sisters, and she is the granddaughter of one of his brothers. Wow. And so we met for the first. We had. Inter been introduced online um, a few years ago, only a few years ago. But I went to Danbury, Connecticut, and had a wonderful time meeting with her in person and looking at her family tree and our family tree and comparing notes as why why didn't these two branches keep in touch? We don't know. Right. You know? By, the, so by the way, I think that one of the fascinating things is unlike even uh, 30 years ago, 20 years ago, if you find people, but you don't either have the resources or the time or the whatever to travel uh, to some distance, whether it be across the country or halfway right. or, or maybe Europe or Asia, wherever your relatives may sure. be, 
Uh, one thing you could add is a dynamics of once you find them, you can Zoom or Skype with them. Yep. Okay, in large groups or small. And, sure. Uh, uh, it's just fascinating and adds a richness. Uh, sure. To or or use the use the phone. What do they call that? FaceTime. Yeah. Uh, no, they call it a phone. Oh, okay. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's fascinating, and I, uh, quite frankly, I look forward to additional journeys that you're going to take of relatives you're going to find, because uh, you're really dedicated to the sport of finding yeah, your roots. It is. It's well, you know what? It's it's like a good deed. First of all, I enjoy it doing it, um, but I want to share with my relatives. I want I want them all to share what I have, which is a wonderful relationship with a lot of people. Um, back east, north, south, Midwest, obviously Denver, and certainly in California, Oregon, pretty much all over the country, which mm -hmm. is why I think it's important because we get so spread out. You know, each generation moves and lives somewhere different and, also, and grows. And, and if you can get to, to see them, especially if your name is John Coleman, seeing him in person twirl his uh, handlebar mustache is a whole lot different. That's then right. Seeing it on on uh, Skype or Zoom. Yeah. Anyway, folks, uh, enjoy your relatives. Contact them and try to meet them. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.